Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the Pandemoma Awareness Day. Um, of course, we all wish we were together, and we all wish that we were um, in a wonderful venue and contemplating the release of the butterflies, how symbolic and how beautiful an event that has been in the past. This year, of course, we're virtual, uh, and, but I do want to welcome you and thank you for your support of a Pendulum Awareness Day. My name is Mark Gilbert. Um, I am the, the chief of the neuro-oncology branch at the National Cancer Institute, and I've been involved uh, in ependymoma research uh, since the beginning of the Collaborative Ependymoma Research Network, also known as CERN. So um, CERN has been a wonderful partner and organization, as many know from uh, our, our past discussions, that the experience that we had in CERN was really, really critical. We made some important advances um, in our understanding of ependymoma. Uh, this was evidenced this past year when we hosted at the National Cancer Institute uh, an international uh, ependymoma consensus conference where we got to meet and discuss the, the latest uh, findings in ependymoma, both research and, and therapies uh, with colleagues from all over the world. And it was a phenomenal success and a lot of interesting and important uh, discussions ensued in, in that meeting. CERN is critical uh, as the experience uh, and the opportunities that CERN afforded myself and, and Dr. Terry Armstrong enabled us to actually successfully compete for one of the Cancer Moonshot grants that is called NCI Connect, and that's enabling us to, to continue the work in ependymoma as well as in 11 other cancers. Importantly, in ependymoma, uh, one of the studies that we did with CERN was a clinical trial, and that clinical trial was very successful. Um, it showed that this combination of, of two chemotherapy drugs put together uh, was helpful for a large number of patients with regrowing ependymoma. So successful, in, in fact, that it has been endorsed by the NCCN and is part of their guidelines, um, a major step ahead, providing patients with ependymoma another suitable treatment. And finally, we were doing extensive work in our laboratory as well as in laboratories around the world. Um, I, I'm happy to report that we have launched a clinical trial uh, for ependymoma, and we're targeting a specific finding uh, that was one of the seminal discoveries in ependymoma done by uh, my good friend and colleague, Dr. Richard Gilbertson. This is a specific molecular change, which we think may afford uh, a specific therapy, and that clinical trial is actually up and running at the National Cancer Institute. So a lot of advances and a lot of hope as we go forward for the future. So ependymoma um, is now uh, a disease that many colleagues around the world are focusing on. We continue to have um, an annual uh, meeting where we review the results. Unfortunately, this year's meeting uh, will be postponed, but we do anticipate and look forward to meeting with our colleagues, uh, sharing our results, and collectively moving forward to find better treatments. So I look forward to seeing everybody next year in person. I look forward to reporting on the, the results and the advances that we make. And I wish you all the best and please stay safe.